Hey, my sweet friends, my name is Katie Satilli. If you've never been here before, welcome back to another cleaning video. So today's cleaning video is going to be a little different. As you can tell, this is me a long time ago, my first cleaning video I've ever, ever posted. So today I'm gonna to be doing a full on cleaning marathon that goes on for a full hour so that you can set this up and get your cleaning done, get like an hour of cleaning done with me while I do it as well. So today I'm gonna to be cleaning my messy house with you. So give this video a big thumbs up if you're ready for some cleaning motivation. Hit the red subscribe button if you're new here. I would love for you to join this community. Click the bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you can be one of the first ones to watch when my videos go up. I'm always in the comments for the first hour, so I'd love to connect with you when it first goes live. So can we just talk for a minute about a couple of things? First of all, Bentley was so small. He's now four years old and look at him back then. I don't know how old he was, but I remember this part. I'm pretty sure that he goes and gets ice cubes out and I had no idea. Yep, there it is. There it is. Oh, it's waffles, not ice cubes. And I had no idea. And he just left the room with a box of waffles. What is happening in my life? <laughs> and then also my hair is very short and I only had two kids in this video and what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, the vacuum cleaner is totally different. Oh, there he goes. He does get ice. What am I doing? Why am I not looking at my child? Here it is. There I figured it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seriously, <laughs> it seems like such a long time ago. I cannot believe that Bentley was that little and it's like, how was he that little and I was doing YouTube? I just can't believe it. I'm waving the white flag. I'm waving the white flag. I'm waving the white So I have always loved using rubber gloves. I don't know why. I just like using them in the kitchen when I'm washing dishes. I actually just ordered some new ones off of Amazon and they just came in the mail today. So I cannot wait to try them out. They have like little scrubbers on the actual gloves. So I'll have to show you guys those in my next cleaning video. So there's my old pans that I was using. It's kind of funny to see all the different things I had in my kitchen going on or like where I had stuff placed. And apparently I'm dancing in my cleaning video. Like no shame back then. I don't think I'd have enough guts to be dancing on camera. Oh boy, and I'm staring at the camera like a really crazy intense person. You feel like it's your fault. Just remember I will be there for you, baby. Remember there's nothing out there to get you. Don't forget it. When life comes the months. Just call on me to get you, to get you. So something that has changed since watching this video that stands out to me is that palm tree is now dead. <laughs> that palm tree I think got too big for the pot that it was in and so now it's sitting on the porch and it's dead. Yep, and my windows were dirty as usual. You gotta leave now, it's time to catch the wind. Oh goodness, this is embarrassing. I cannot believe that I had those shelves decorated like that. I just left up that joy sign from Christmas 
and I know this was not Christmas time. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this. Catherine Satilli, what were you thinking? When life throws lemons, just call on me. gosh look at how little Fiona was I cannot even believe it she was so tiny oh my gosh back in the day when you used to be able to put a clip of your actual video like the footage into the end slate oh my goodness and I had a unicorn on my end slate what was I thinking all right guys so on to the next video so here is my shower cleaning video, my shower cleaning hack from the Dollar Tree, which basically kind of sent my channel into motion, kind of got things booming and shaking over here. We got the magic shower cleaner. This is all you need from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna give you my little spiel right now. Just some vinegar, some Dawn dish soap. That vinegar did not come from the Dollar Tree this spray bottle and then two of these little kitchen squeegee things. So you could either shake it up and mix it beforehand and then pour it into these things or you could pour the soap first and then the vinegar but never put the vinegar first because if you do that it's just gonna go right through the sponge and it's gonna be a mess. So always soap first and then the vinegar. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you should go ahead and find me over there. It's just at Katie. Oh, it's not at Katie Sot anymore. Oh my gosh, this is old Instagram handle. It's Katie.Satilli. Super simple. Katie.Satilli. So go find me over on Instagram. I'd love to be friends over there. heading in to my shower which is the nastiest thing ever there was a footprint in there but the rest of the dirt was definitely disgusting like really 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 nasty so I took that spray oh my gosh it looks like there's like straight up mold on there or something I don't know anyways I took the spray and I sprayed down the whole thing and let it sit for like 20 minutes um, this video got the most hate out of anything on my channel. People commented about that mole on my back. They were like, oh my gosh, your mole's so big. It popped right through your shirt. It made a hole in the back of your shirt. <laughs> Since then, I have had that mole removed. Just fun fact for you in case anybody's wondering. Safety first. Just got to be careful with those moles. Anyways, so here is 20 minutes later. I'm going in with my scrubber and literally that dirt just melts off. It just melts right off. Like I really wasn't even pressing that hard and it just came right off. So I swear by this stuff. I really think that using this shower hack is probably one of the easiest way to keep your showers clean. I've had people message me who are professional cleaners who use this hack. I've had people message me who are handicapped who use this hack. I have had moms message me. I mean, this hack is just 
wow. I never thought when I made this video that it would get looked at so many times. And then there's little Bentley. Oh my goodness. And here's the beautiful shower, all clean and white. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget. On to my next cleaning video. There I am with my cleaning gloves and I think I was just polishing up my um, cupboards, my cabinets, and then using my Shark Rocket. Oh, I'm just giving you a little sneak peek of everything that I was gonna be doing in the video. Oh, look at that. I was doing a collab with Emily from Mama From Scratch. And then I believe that this was also a video with Tiffany Beeston. How funny is that? Oh my gosh, it looks like her and I have matching couches. Whoa, I really think that her and I have matching couches. That's so crazy. When her channel was first starting out and oh my gosh, this is just hilarious. Oh my gosh, this is such a long time ago. And there I am again, waving my gloves at you giving you my wrong Instagram handle. It's katie.satilli, not that. watched a video before this from Jesse Christine um, who back in the day was keep calm and clean and I think that's what made me want to polish my cupboards <laughs> I had gotten some serious motivation for cleaning from her from watching one of her videos I don't know which one it was but anyways that just goes to show that watching cleaning videos really does work because I need to oh that's how dirty my cupboards were. I need to do this again. Like, I really need to do this again. This is one of my favorite things that I love to do with my Shark Rocket vacuum. You just can clip off the certain attachments and then clip on certain attachments. And so you can get into like really narrow areas. I definitely need to do this actually probably right now. So um, anyways, I just have a bunch of those little attachments pulled um, in my laundry room slash laundry nook slash laundry corner. <laughs> oh my gosh, if you're still watching this video, you're gonna be like, what is happening? She is talking so much. Oh, I know what I'm doing here. I'm doing a DIY grout cleaner. So it worked well, I remember. So I'm using baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, and then just a little like scrubber brush. And 
I think that I had looked this little hack up on Pinterest and it worked, but I would say that it wasn't like the best thing ever. So, and you know, it's interesting looking back because my grout didn't look as bad as I thought it did. These days it looks worse. Let me know down in the comments what you are getting done today, what you're cleaning with me, what are you watching on your phone, an iPad, your computer, your TV. Um, sometimes when I get cleaning done, I tend to put um, cleaning videos on on the TV and I can just kind of have them going in the background. It makes me feel literally like I'm cleaning with someone um, and I don't full on sit there and examine like the whole entire video but I kind of just do it with someone so anyways that's kind of how I use cleaning videos It's so crazy watching this back because my filming, like the lighting was very yellow and I think it just, I've gotten new light bulbs since that are helpful for um, YouTubing, like videoing and stuff like that. And back then I didn't have those. And so you can just kind of see the quality of the video is not as great. we go with the finished product it looked very clean and white and shiny and sparkly so I think I'm getting inspired to clean my kitchen again like that I think I need to do a deep clean of my kitchen that would probably be super helpful kind of ignorant you don't care what people say people say people say I'm going crazy for you baby don't know how you make it me feel this way but can I say and it must have been fall because I see that I'm lighting my pumpkin candle and I've got some little pumpkin decor. Who's ready for fall? I am. We haven't even hit summer yet and I am just like, let's do this. I'm ready for the pumpkin season. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite season is of the year. Oh my goodness, there's my old bed with our old pillows. This looks pretty bright right here. Maybe I was using a light. Um, and there's my, oh my gosh, that thing just broke the other day. And there's my old glasses. I love those things. I need to wear, oh my gosh, look at this. Another collab with Tiffany Beeston. What?
I don't know what kind of bed you all have, but we used to have a queen size bed for such a long time and now we have a king size bed. I don't know if you guys saw the video when we did get the king size bed, but it's so weird looking back now and just realizing, oh my gosh, our bed was so much smaller. Hey, and even Sean and I have switched sides of the bed. I think that we switched sides when Hudson was born. I don't know. This is just funny. It's really funny looking back at old videos, especially cleaning videos because you get to see like every aspect of your house. Just remembering that this was my morning cleaning routine for fall I think that's what it was um, but I was using an apple blossom candle wax melt wax melt whatever it's called I don't know I'm trying to remember exactly what this video was I wish I would have had it like in the title in the beginning um, but yeah here I go loading up the good old dishwasher you know what's so funny about parenting is I remember thinking like, oh, it's a phase. Like, Bentley just likes to hang out with me. Oh, <laughs> he's trying to fist bump. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, and there's Miss Fiona with her cute curly hair just coloring. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I always thought like, oh, it's a phase. Bentley's, you know, just always wants to hang out. Nope, it's not a phase, it's just his personality. He still wants to hang out all the time. So anyways, just interesting side note. check out my old couch and my old curtains and my old throw pillow and my old wall decor wow I really have changed this room a lot like it does not look like that anymore that's kind of crazy oh and there's Miss Fiona showing me her letters but those are my same lamps do you recognize that if you watch my last vlog those are my same lamps that I just spray-painted Remember the days when Bentley slept in that crib. Look at this. This was not Hudson's crib back then. It was Bentley's. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so crazy to watch. talking about a power hour if I can read my lips right I think I just said power hour but anyways this is really funny talking while I was talking to the camera because I have no idea what I was saying but I was wearing that oh look at this a collab with Emily from the Jackson Hive <laughs> this just goes to show how many collabs I really do do 
I just realized I'm pretty sure this is a pregnant power hour. We'll see here in a minute if my stomach is pregnant, but one of these that I threw in this marathon is a pregnancy power hour. Yep, it is. Because both of us were pregnant with our third babies. Oh my gosh, this is just crazy. Like a circle yep I was pregnant my little rocket was shooting out and this is when I was pregnant with Hudson I can't believe that I've changed this room so much just within the last year Wow I'm still tripping out over this over here like a sparrow with broken wings but now I shine with your reflection on me I'm getting back up on my feet Get ready for this pregnant waddle. It's coming up in now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have always kind of had a pregnancy waddle even when I wasn't pregnant. So then when I became pregnant, it was like, I mean, just on another level of pregnancy waddling. And this was me talking to the camera about how we had just bought Hudson's car seat and how we had gotten a bunch of his stuff out from storage and how I was cleaning it and washing everything. Yep, that's what I'm talking about right here. I can totally remember. So since filming this video back when I was pregnant, I have switched my laundry softener and detergent. I now use Gain um, instead of Tide and Suavitel. And I like both, but it's fun to kind of switch it up every once in a while. I like to use the Orange Blossom um, fabric softener, but it's by Gain. It's super, super good. That's like my new favorite thing. So I'll have to show you guys that in a different video. And this was me talking about how I had switched the sheets out and that I was just going to be getting ready for Hudson to be born and all that good stuff. And I've gotten rid of that changing table in my KonMari video. I don't know if you guys remember that.
this is just the never ending amount of toys that we all experience when we have young kids. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one. Yes, here's my husband with Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Here was Hudson's bassinet that we had just purchased, I think from Craigslist, or you know what? I think we even got it for free off of Craigslist. So I don't know. I think this was just us getting ready and I was probably nesting and I'm sure that I did a ton of videos on nesting and cleaning everything up. Oh, this is when I bought that sign. Always kiss me good night and wash your worries away. Oh my goodness. This is like my home decor coming to life. So my timer went off, which meant that my hour was up and I'm just chatting away with the camera. Got that beautiful pregnancy glow happening. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that about myself? Beautiful pregnancy glow? Well, I just did. To be honest I'm not sure if I'm pregnant in this video <laughs> that's so embarrassing but I'm pretty sure I don't know I'm like was this after I had Hudson or was this I guess we'll find out probably later on in the video maybe I was pregnant maybe I was pregnant was I pregnant I don't even know I feel like I shouldn't even be saying this on the internet because someone's probably gonna be like <laughs> Oh wow, was I pregnant and doing that? pregnant there we go I was pregnant I was pregnant okay it's for sure yeah. oh my gosh Bentley was getting bigger I remember those shoes and those little toys, oh my gosh, it's so funny to see my kids grow up. Hey, I really like how the bathroom looked back then. Maybe I need to pull that bookshelf out of there so it can be a little bit bigger. Hmm, this has got me thinking. Should I take the bookshelf out and put it somewhere else or should I leave it? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Oh, this was at Christmas time. <laughs>
If you're watching this and wondering how I was doing all this cleaning with these sprays, it's because they're all the non-toxic sprays from Grove Collaborative, which I always have linked down in my description box if you have never tried out Grove Collaborative. They are awesome. It's kind of like a monthly subscription service and you select the stuff that you want to pick out every month and then they just refill it and send it to you and they have tons of the non-toxic products like Mrs. Myers and Grove and all that stuff and they usually have like a free discount thing. Oh, and there's Bentley flipping my light switch on and off. Oh my gosh. Sigma had sent me this makeup cleaning, I don't know, set or pad that I could scrub on. So first I cleaned out my sink and then I just went in and took each of my brushes and cleaned them out on this little pink pad. I think you can just put it in the bottom of your sink essentially, but I didn't really want to do that just in case it was not clean. There goes Bentley with the lights again. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's funny to see like what the kids were doing at different stages of their life, you know? And I have captured so many of those stages here on YouTube. It's kind of fun to look back and watch.
Alright, so we are on to my last video of this marathon and I'm pretty sure this must have been Christmas time this past Christmas. So Hudson was born and I was not pregnant anymore and I believe that somebody was sick because that is usually when I pull out my humidifier. So somebody must have been sick and sleeping in our room. Maybe it was me, maybe it was my husband, or maybe it was the kiddos. I'm not really sure. Oh, and you can see that I was talking about my Mrs. Myers cleaning set that usually they give away a set like this or a set really similar, something with these products included if you're a first time customer. So like I mentioned before, that link is always in my description box. All right, so if you've made it 45 minutes into this video, I cannot believe it. Like, I really can't. Is, is anybody going to watch an hour-long video? I don't know. Is this for real a thing? Because Amanda from This Crazy Life is the one who came up with this idea. And I don't know. Apparently, it works for her, so I figured I'd give it a try. Anyways, leave me an emoji in the description. No, in the comments, leave me an emoji if you are still watching at this point. You got me good, baby. Keep on coming back to you. I know that you know me. You already messed it up. Can we just talk about the fact that I have seriously lost weight since since Christmas? Um, I have been working my booty off, literally, and my legs are smaller. I know that that is for sure. I think all over I'm smaller. But anyways, if you didn't see my Amazon favorites video, I talked about my T25 workout and all that stuff. I'll try to make sure that I leave a link below, but I have been doing that for a few months now consistently and I can totally see a difference in myself like big time. Messed it up. 
Okay, do you remember what I was saying in the beginning of this video, how Bentley has always just followed me around? <laughs> you can see in this video, he's three and a half or something in this video and he was still following me around. <laughs> That's just his personality. He likes to hang out with me. Hey sweet friends and welcome back to another cleaning video. My name is Katie Satilli. If you've never been here before, I'm so glad that you're here visiting and hanging out with me while we clean together. Let me know in the comments what you're going to be cleaning today along with me while I do my hardcore cleaning of my messy house. Yes, I'm starting off in my kids room and it is destroyed. Hit the red subscribe button and make sure you stick around for more cleaning and organization motivation. And don't forget to find me over on Instagram. I'm over there all the time. I would love to be friends on there as well. So today's video is an extreme clean with me of my messy house and if you stick around you'll see how disastrous my house really is, especially my kids room. It has been a long time since I've gone in there and deep cleaned and wow, I just have so much to catch up on. I'm going to be busting out my O cedar mop here in just a little bit and mopping the floors and I'm vacuuming everything. And just right now, I'm gonna be getting my kids' beds made, which, hello, give this video a thumbs up if you think making bunk beds is one of the worst things ever created. <laughs> I post tons of videos on cleaning, lifestyle, and organization. So if you like that kind of content, make sure that you stick around, hit that red subscribe button, and make sure that you hit the little bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I put up. I try to put up two videos a week, every Sunday and Wednesday.
I was just getting some trash bags out because anytime I clean up any room, I always try to have a trash bag with me because I swear, how is it possible that I always have stuff to throw out like toys or broken things or old bows from when Fiona was a baby? Oh my goodness, there's just so many little things. I know that I need to do another KonMari of my kids room. I've already done one. I'll make sure and put it here in the iCards and try to link it down in the description box but I feel like I need to KonMari my kids room again. Like I just feel like we still have too much stuff even after the KonMari. So anyways, right now Bentley's coming in. He was actually downstairs with the babysitter and we got out the Shopkins house for him and then the Shopkins bin. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's what that was all about. to my favorite chore, which is vacuuming. I love to vacuum. I love vacuum lines, vacuum lines on fleek. Give this video a thumbs up if you think the vacuum lines on fleek is hilarious. I'd love to hear in the comments below what you're gonna be cleaning today with me. So I like to turn on cleaning videos while I'm cleaning. And so just let me know, what are you cleaning today or what do you have on your to-do list? One of my good friends just started watching my cleaning videos because she texted me one day and was like, Oh my gosh, I have so much to clean and I don't want to do it. And I was like, you should watch one of my videos, JK. But seriously, you should watch one of my videos. <laughs> so she put it on and she was like, oh my gosh, this is so fun. I feel like we're just hanging out while we clean. And that's honestly why I like making cleaning videos. First of all, I kill two birds with one stone. I get my house clean, I get my chores done, and I kind of have a fun way of doing it. You guys get to hold me accountable to make sure that I finish. And that is seriously helpful. And then it's basically like we're hanging out while we clean. So one of my favorite things to do is hang out with friends and chat. If you can't tell, I just love doing that kind of stuff. So that's what we're doing right now. I guess just try to make cleaning as fun as possible. And I don't know, try to distract ourselves with either Katie Satilli talking or watching other people's videos or maybe putting on some sort of show or music that inspires us or motivates us. Funny story, I know that you guys probably already know this, but YouTubers do get a lot of hate and a lot of mean comments. And one of my most recent mean comments, someone told me that I must be a drug addict if my house is this dirty. <laughs> I've never been told that before on YouTube, so that's a new one. And I just wanted to say I am not a drug addict. I am, however, a mother of three very young children. <laughs> and a full-time YouTuber, and a wife, and all kinds of other things. But anyways, I just wanted to say, my house gets super messy, and I know actually most people have commented recently and said, thank you for showing your real messy house. It makes me feel so much better about the fact that my house is messy. And that's how I would feel when I watch other people's videos and they have like some messiness in their house, I'm like, oh, I feel so much better because I'm not the only one. You know what I mean? So anyways, what do you think? I'd love to hear in the comments below. Do you find cleaning videos 
that have messy houses inspiring or do you think it's just nasty? So let me know down in the comments, but try to be nice to me. <laughs> I'm gonna be going in with my O Cedar mop and I don't know if you guys have seen my past videos I know that my subscribers have but I just got this thing a few weeks ago or maybe about a month ago and I am obsessed with it it's so nice I feel like this is kind of like the popular mop to use these days but I can see why it's just like very convenient and especially for me having a two-story condo being able to walk up and down stairs with it it's just like super super convenient and my kids are obsessed with it I think they think it looks like a toy so anyways they're into mopping as well now <laughs> um, and I like it because you can like the more you spin it the more water comes out and then the less you spin it you can have it like really wet so you could even mop like the insides of your bathtubs or what have you and then I have started cleaning all my baseboards with this thing too and I really enjoy that so anyways that's just a heads up on my mop and I just love trying new cleaning products I feel like it makes cleaning more fun so as you can see I finished cleaning the kids room and their bathroom it honestly took me I think an hour and a half I had a babysitter downstairs and I kept thinking am I really paying someone so that I can clean my house yes I am <laughs> so anyways now I'm moving on to my bedroom So as I'm vacuuming, I would love to have your home decor opinion. So I have been redecorating my bedroom for, I don't know, a while now, <laughs> um, but I am thinking of putting a couple of throw pillows because right now I have six huge pillows and I want to get rid of probably two of those big ones or maybe even four. I don't know. I'll kind of see how it looks, but then I have two throw pillows that I just need to buy covers for. So here's my question. What kind of throw pillow covers do you think would look good with my room decor? <laughs> do you think I should do like gray or tan or pinstriped or I don't know, something else, white? I'm kind of like a neutral person as you can tell by the options I just gave you. <laughs> so let me know or even like light blue, I don't know. I would love to hear your thoughts, even if it's something different than what I said. Um, I'm heading over to the laundry and just switching it over to the dryer. And you'll see here in a minute that I'm going to have an outfit change because my memory card was full and then it gave me a ton of issues and I just couldn't fix it. So 
anyways, you'll see that in a little while. Oh, and I had run out of our laundry, deter laundry detergent, and so I had some sample that I had gotten from Walmart grocery pickup, so I used that, um, and it worked just fine. So anyways, this is me with my outfit change. I'm just, um, it's later in the evening, so I was just cleaning up the sink and the mirrors, and Sean was getting the kids ready for bed, so I just finished up the cleaning video and finished up the laundry, and um, I was so glad when it was all over, because seriously, it felt like an entire day of cleaning. <laughs> So I went in with my almond wood for good method cleaner and this stuff smells amazing. I'm serious. Like if you've never tried it, you really ought to try a bottle of it. It just smells so, so good. I don't know what it is about that almond smell. Anyways, so I went through and kind of just wiped down all of the surfaces for my dressers and nightstands. And I think um, just the room just smelled delicious. So anyways, that's what I'm doing now. And I'm using this yellow microfiber cloth that I got from Target Dollar Spot. And it's super cute right now. I'm loving all of like the yellow and it has lemons on it. And I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what it is this year. There's lemons everywhere. I think it's like a trendy popular thing right now. And I am all about it. I love that lemon print and the yellow for spring and all that stuff so anyways now I'm just gonna be continuing to wipe everything down and fold all my laundry that you showed up was written in the palm. you are a statement that's but lack of So Sean came to the rescue, he got the kids in bed, and I was <laughs> just so ready to be done. So he was helping me put all the laundry away and get everything complete and finished. He's good at that kind of stuff. So anyways, thank you for watching another video. Make sure that you're subscribed and check out a couple of my favorite videos. I linked them right here. It's my birth vlog in case you want to get to know me better. And it's my KonMari kitchen declutter. I love these videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.